but a news anchor is that he has to look his best at all times. Mm -hmm. And how would you rate Peter Moosebridge? I think he's a very sharp dresser, Peter Moosebridge. Yeah. He, he didn't take my advice. He took the designer's advice, and, and he looks great. Bad news in this city gripped by fear. What can you tell us about the animals that went savage? Are we safe? This is priority one. Pubs. Parking duty. Yeah. <laughs> now, you're playing a character who is based on you, and you were assured by Disney that there would be uh, sort of references to your character, to your appearance and all of that. Do you think they succeeded in, in that way? <laughs> you mean, does he look like me? <laughs> well, aside from the horn. I mean, yeah, yeah. And the nose. Uh, look, I... You know, the, this whole uh, thing was such a thrill for me that I, I didn't uh, I didn't get involved in the design. They said that they were trying to incorporate certain features of mine um, in Peter Moosebridge. I, I don't actually see it myself, but then you're never a good judge of uh, how you look yourself. Um, but I'm just, listen, I'm just uh, happy to be there. He, he seems to have a lot more hair than I do. So other than that, it's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now, here you are, you've taken your place in a fabulous lineage, mm. you know, begun by Walt Disney, and to me that would be such a thrilling prospect. Do you feel that in your heart? I do. I mean, the Disney legacy is, is well known, you know, to all of us. It's certainly known within my family, you know, we, we moved to Canada in the 1950s from from England and Southeast Asia, we, we, we moved here and when we got our first television in the late 1950s, one of the first things I remember as a child uh, is sitting with my family on Sunday nights watching Disney and that still exists on CBC all these years later. So when this opportunity came along, you know, that, that was all part of the decision making process. I mean, it's not normal for somebody uh, in my profession to agree to do anything on the fictional side. Um, but uh, this opportunity was just too good to pass up and, and it, you know, cuts back to, uh, to a, a legacy with the CBC in terms of, of Disney. And also, you know, my, I've got grandchildren and who, who aren't overly impressed with what I do in my normal life. But as soon as I told them I was going to be in a new Disney animated feature, I mean, man, I was, uh, I was a hero. Yeah. <laughs> What's it like being in a film with, um, you know, an Oscar winner, Oscar nominees, and Tommy John? Yeah. Well, they all came to me for advice on how to do their roles, of course. No. <laughs> Kidding. My, you know, listen, I'm a very, I'm a cameo. You, you know, it's a, it's a very short role. But being able to say that you're in a film with a list like that, is, uh, is 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 pretty nice. It's it's great for me to use at home. My wife is in the in the business, and for me to be able to say, oh yeah, you know, these are my co-stars. It's no big deal. I, it's just another normal day for me. It's really surreal. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. <laughs> um, now, in terms of um, you know uh, delivery, did they use your delivery? Do you think? I mean, I know what I think. Mm -hmm. I thought it was very close. Very yeah, I mean, the, the, a bit jollier. Yeah, for the most part, they wanted me to be me. You know, they, they wanted my voice. I'm a newscaster. They wanted me to play a newscaster. Uh, they wanted me to be a Canadian newscaster. You know, there was a couple of times they were kidding when we were doing their recording about, uh, uh, you know, maybe you should, uh, you know, throw in a boot here or there. And I said, you know, we, we don't really say a boot. <laughs> and they said, well, it sure sounds like a boot to us when we hear it coming from Canada. Um, but uh, fortunately, there were there were no boots in the lines I had to do. Thank goodness for that. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. So, do you think this week, uh, or at least next week, do you think when the film opens that you'll be walking down the hallways of the CBC with an extra spring in your step? I'm sure I will, but I'm also taking lots of you know funny lots hits. Uh, well, hits, you know, funny hits. The people are having fun with it, and I come into work, and there's a picture of Peter Moosebridge on my. Uh, you know, office door, and everybody is is having fun with it, and uh, and, and as they should. You know, the movie is. Listen, you you know, the movie has important lessons in it, but it's also a lot of fun, and uh, and so we we want uh, that to be the the theme for everyone. Well, I think you did a great job, and I'm so glad you did it. Thank you. Thank you.